We first met Jack Eaton in October of 2019, before social distancing, where people packed into Washington's Reagan Airport and shake hands with a military hero. He was recently honored. He served as, um, at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. He is the oldest living sentinel. Um, and we recently, this past October, went to Washington and he actually got to see his name put up on the plaque for being a sentinel at the guard of the tomb. I think just seeing the look on his face, the big smiles, because I know he did not expect it to be as big of a deal as it was. Do the service members these days honor the pledge you took and do the best that you can. Don't shirk your duty. And try to do better every time. I, I always try to do better and it improves your life if you do. So how's Jack doing today? He recently celebrated his 101st birthday. Jack's stepdaughter, Brenda Warburton, says he's been isolated to protect him from the coronavirus. I've noticed in the past several weeks, like depression setting in. Because if they are home alone, it's, it's got it, it's awful. And it's awful for the, you know, for you as well. Um, not being able to give them a hug. Now to make matters worse, Jack's scheduled back surgery has been postponed due to the virus, leaving him in constant pain. To help lift his spirits, the Patriot Guard Raiders hopped on their motorcycles and paid Jack a visit from a safe distance, of course. Um, you know, if you're able do to, to go outside their place and just wave up at them and at their balcony or wherever they live from the driveway and just say, hi, I'm thinking about you, mom, or thinking about you, dad. I think that that makes, that can make a big difference. And Brenda's planning a little surprise for her stepdad as well. We'll find out how you can help no matter where you live. So stay tuned. We've got more coming up on Great Day TV at 10 o'clock. Have a swell morning. Bye-bye.